Good morning. Mitch here. Monday morning alert for uh, Monday, July 20th, 2020. 2020, 2020 day or something like that. Anyway, beautiful morning. Um, you know, last time I was with you, uh, it's been eight or nine days ago. I kind of said, uh, yeah, don't look, don't look at your corn until Monday. It'll be pretty resilient. It'll stand back up for the most part. You know, we were pre-tassel. I hadn't shot a lot of brace roots. Um, you know, everything everything was looking up. And for the most part, everything has stood back up. There's some fields that are still a little rough that really got folded over. Maybe they might even get hit once or twice or three times. Um, you know, I think I was with you on Friday and that was before Saturday storm came through. And then we had another one Saturday night. So yeah, there was, there was plenty of uh, angst over about three or four day period. Anyway, I'll quit babbling, but you know most of the stuff has stood back up, got some brace roots under it. It's gonna be a challenge to harvest. Um, you know, there's some areas that got some pretty bad hail that we've been in. So we've just driven by because there was no need to go in it and it was pretty stripped. Um, here's a leaf that's, uh, you know, this is a hailed leaf. It's pretty stripped. There's some disease all over. Um, you know, we're looking at mostly all the tassels are out now. Um, fungicide time is upon us. And mainly the thing that I'm seeing is probably gray leaf spot. I've got some gray leaf spot on here. Um, you probably can't see it in the in the camera, but remember, gray leaf is a, is is stays within in between the veins as opposed to uh, you know the northern corn leaf blight that we probably experienced the last oh, three or four years ago. Um, northern corn is probably a a cooler, wetter climate or weather pattern uh, disease. And this year we're in more of a warmer, wetter weather pattern. We thought we were in a dry weather pattern, but uh, the last week we've had plenty of moisture and and it looks like gray leaf has been brought on by that. So gray leaf is the main thing we're seeing out there. Um, the other thing, you know, really that your fungicide is gonna help with is plant health. And with all these tor tattered and torn leaves, um, it's probably a really good idea to, to, to use a fungicide to, to help heal this up. You're never gonna heal it up like a like a human scar, but you know, close those, close it up, keep the disease away. Um, you know, their research has shown that that it uh, definitely increases, the, or I shouldn't say increases, but saves yield using a fungicide after a hail wind event. So, you know, we got a lot of this, and all the fields around here, um, we were the unfortunate ones with the weather weather pattern that, that hit us like that, but it looks like it's almost from uh, Minnesota down to the Quad Cities, so, you know, in the in the areas that I've traveled. So, uh, I'll be sending along, uh, you know, if you want to go scout and look for gray leaf, I'll send, uh, I'll send a hybrid chart on responses to gray leaf on fungicide. Um, but if it was me, I'd probably just go spray it, because about uh, every acre I've been in is, is something with some with some torn leaves, some disease, and it's just, it was just rough on it. So, um, if there's any questions, um, let me know, but have a great week. Thank you.